A-Electronic Bonding Incorporated ABI 7000 Mini Fusion Welder. You can see it, the control panel on that side, you can see the feed control panel on this side, and uh, you can get a reference of what the machine is with my hand and size and so forth. When you receive the machine, if it's a 220 volt unit, you can go into standard wall sockets, it draws very little amperage. If you're in a foreign country, you will receive a transformer where you plug your machine into the front of the transformer, thereby allowing the voltage to be 110 through this 220 volt source on the back side of the transformer. This transformer reduces 220 to 110 volt to in order to run the machine. There, this is the automatic feed bowl for the, e, in this case, earring post. Could be tie tacks or threaded post. I'm going to turn the machine on so that you can see it coming up into the escapement portion where they are sheared off with an air pressure and fed down through this tube. Right, you can see the bowl and the vibrator source. When you receive the machine, you will connect the air pressure here tightly with this line and you will plug the vibrator into the side of the machine. This vibrator will plug in air-wise into the side of the, the uh, welder box and it will plug in 110 volt here on the side of the machine to operate the bowl. This is the automatic feeding bowl. You can see the, the earring post are being radiated outward and up the tracks into the escapement over here where they are sheared off one by one and blown through this tube into the collet one at a time. When you receive your machine, you will notice that you just plug a quarter inch air hose, flexible air hose into the side, the end. It's already pre-regulated on this regulator and the machine is set. It comes to you at this particular machine at 100 PSI. If you require more PSI, it's simply just Pull up the cap and turn it up, and you will see this go up. The outward pressure is already set on into the machine here. This is the front of the ABI welder, and this is the, vibra the vibrator and feed pressure side, whereas you can regulate with this potentiometer, turning the bowl up or down to whatever you need in the way of making the post radiate. This is an on-off switch for the feed side and this is the manual feed button that allows you to ring one post at a time down like so. This is the feed pressure generally it runs constantly at whatever is set but if you wish to set it you pull the regulator out increase or decrease the air pressure for the feeding of the post. This is the uh, control panel for the welder itself on this side of the machine. You've got the air pressure for clamp, which in this case, this particular machine is using a no clamp, so this is set at zero and will not be used for this particular setup. This is the head pressure. This is allowing this head, this feed head, to go up and down automatically. When you cycle the machine, of course, that all takes place automatically. If you were using the clamp, you would be able to clamp and unclamp automatically during the cycle. Turn the well switch off when you're setting up, naturally has to be on during the well cycle. This potenti potentiometer controls the voltage, which is how much volts is coming and required for the welding. At this particular point, we are set up at about 43, 45 volts for this particular setup. You regulate it up or down. If you get too much voltage, you will burn the post. If you get too little voltage, the post will break off. So you have to find that weld window. I'm removing the cowl cover so that you can see the uh, head cylinder and automatic collet, a insulator, and how to set, up, set the machine up. This cowl is a safety feature but nine times out of ten, you receive the machine and it's never used again.